pitch. It's swung on, sent high in the air to left. Dots will watch it fly. It's going to hook foul, ranging over in time to make the catch in foul territory. Kind of big in the game. It's going up for an inside of Lumber. Two down, that'll bring Scout Knots, the left fielder, up to the plate. Scout has walked and flown out thus far this afternoon. Batting fifth in the order, a chance with two down, the runner on first. First pitch, going to be a take for him, that's a ball. One ball, no strikes. Offering on its way now to Scout. That's inside. Runner goes. McDaniel with another stolen base. He loves to get it done on the base paths. I'll give him the outright lead in steals for the team on the season. Almost came off the bag there with a tag was still applied, but was able to hang on. We'll put a runner in scoring position now with two balls and no strikes to not. One misses outside, so three balls, no strikes. Jenkins on deck. Almanzar Jr. comes set. A big pitch here. Takes a look at second. Here's the 3-0. That's in there for a strike. I think Knotts was taken all the way there. Two balls, one strike. He'll step off. Hooks the runner back into the bag. Positions himself on top of the hill to pick up the sign. Here's the 3 1. McDaniel off the throw to third. It's a strong throw, but McDaniel, a fast, fast runner, slides in safely. So that's his third stolen base of the game. It's a pretty good throw there, and yes, if you wanted to nitpick, it was maybe a little too far out in front of the bag. come forward and play and reach back and now a great play by Tenney he sprawls out the throw to first not in time so that will drive McDaniel in put out of the single for knots coming up scout one for two yesterday had a run scored also drove in a run he walked three times he's a tall right-handed batter and he takes an off-speed pitch for a call strike scout on the season batting 290 Seven homers, 23 RBIs. His on-base percentage also 380. Blaisdell delivers, and this one is pulled foul on the ground. Ask the third base coach, Nick Derba. So Blaisdell giving up the three base hits to load the bases. Struck out Bermani, the cleanup batter, now ahead of the number five batter, Knotts, nothing in two. You can hear the wind in our crowd mic. Here's the 0-2, and that one wasted outside. A ball and two strikes to Scout. Scout 6-6-220 from Lorton, Virginia. Here's the 1-2, and that's down in the turf off the catcher. Here come Chulafon. He'll slide in safely. The other runners advance as well. Blaisdell helps Chulafon to his feet, the wild pitch results in the first run of the ball game. It's one nothing Maine. Chulafon, again, a very aggressive base. And the Black Bears are on the board. Now runners at second and third, 2-2 pitch, and Knotts able to check the swing. So the count is now full. Mejia third, McDaniel at second. The payoff hits coming here to scout Knotts. Jeremiah Jenkins up next for the Black Bears. Blaisdell, the wind, and the fire, and that ball is hit off the mound. It's going to get into center field for a base hit. Mejia crosses home plate. Here comes McDaniel. He will slide in safely as well. It's a two-run single for Scout Knotts, and the Black Bears on a roll here in the first. They lead it three to nothing. Dell the kick, and this one is hit in the air, not deep, left center, two-run single. Back in the first inning, a seven-run first inning, two out to center field in the second. Lady with 
showing off her baseball to some other fans here at Mahaney Diamond. Ball one to Scout. Scout trying to get to 300. Came in batting 290. Speed pitch for a strike. One ball and one strike to the Black Bear left fielder. Romani, average lead at first, not going, and that pitch is slammed towards left field on a line. That ball is going to one off the fence and left off the Bangor Savings Bank banner out there. Romani rounding third. Here's the throw to the plate, and it's going to be knocked down by the first baseman, Rivera. Single in the first, RBI base hit in the fourth. She's also scored twice. Here's the pitch, and he hits this one high and deep to left field. Kozeal back on the track. He's got room. Just about a yard shy of that fence in front of the scoreboard. Knotts is retired as our scout has had a productive afternoon. Two for four. Drove in two with a base hit in the first, drove in one with a hit in the fourth inning, and he's got another hit right here. Driving one to center field. Picked up there by Maycock, moving up at second base is McDaniel. And the beat goes on for Maine. They've got 15 hits. In the Strike one for Scout Knotts. D already up to 77 pitches for his outing, trying to survive the fourth. This one, grounded up back up. Cobb Jr. Fires that one low, but in time. So Rivera gets it at the Eric East Games. They have only been swept one time. That also means winning one game against very difficult teams like UMass, Lowell, Stony Brook, and NGIT. So kudos to them. This one right back at Tenney. Rifles down to second base, but Bravanti back in time. And that's a tough one for Knotts. Again, the catcher, the backstop for the Hawks in disbelief, but may now lead this one by a score of 5-1. to one. It'll be a fielder's choice that Vermonti will reach first base. I believe that should still be an RBI. We'll see if that actually is the case, but McDaniel, nonetheless, is over from third base all the way in for run number five for the Black Bears as now we see Scout Knotts out there at the plate again. 0 for 3 day for him so far. You know the Black Bears bats would wake up a little bit more so. Not necessarily the power game that we've been used to with the Black Bears. But uh, they are a team that will continue to chip away and that's why no team wants to be the first opponent in the American East playoffs versus the Black Bears unless they cool off a little bit in the next three weekend series. That one misses high. Of course, after this one, the Black Bears will be playing UMass Lowell down in Massachusetts. They'll play a midweek game after that on the 10th versus Merrimack. They'll host the Great Danes of Albany. Their last home weekend series of the regular season. That one fell back to the backstop. Then Boston College on the 17th of May. That's going to be down at Chestnut Hill. And then they'll conclude the season series with the Hartford Hawks with three games starting on Thursday, May 19th through the 21st before again hosting the playoffs. And right now, this one grounded down the left field of the uh, left side of the infield. Not a play for Cobb after it was deflected by Tenney. So that'll be an infield single there for Knotts. Cobb there from Kozil. But Vermonti will be retired for the first time today by strikeout. And that'll be out number one. That is a tough one to take for the strikeout call on a 3-2 pitch. Well, Bramante stayed in the batter's box for a while, too, knowing that it was fairly close. First pitch fired in there, first strike by Couture. This one grounded down the third base side. It's going to be off the mitt. Ricochets to Cobb. Fires over, but not in time. Rivera had to backpedal just to get back on the base pass. Kudos, though, to Cobb, who played the deflection 